And Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. Quite a quiet night for most of us to start the work week, but if you did uh, from the Fargo area, look to the south tonight, you saw some towering clouds out there. Those storms down south into South Dakota and parts of west central Minnesota. Some thunder and lightning there. A few other showers and thunderstorms moving through north central North Dakota. A little bit of lightning with these, but they remain below severe levels as we head into the deep hours of the overnight, mainly southern Roberts County and also sliding out towards Southern Traverse County, a few showers, some small hail in these cells, but that's about it. Looking up to the international border, some storms, but the general movement of these is to the north and east. Likewise, some storms that have developed here recently to the south of Minot will be drifting to the north and east as we head into the evening hours. There's a chance a few of us may see some thunder showers overnight. More on that in a second. Right now it is 72 degrees out at Hector with a 70 degree reading this hour in Moorhead. Still breezy with gusts over 20 miles per hour. In Valley City, right now 70 for you. That's the same reading we have now in Langdon. It's 66 degrees in Bemidji and 68 in Wadena with a pair of 70s in Detroit Lakes as well as Fergus Falls. Cool 50s this hour off the shores of Lake Superior, still sizzling down in parts of western South Dakota where triple digits were achieved today. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Thunder showers to the south of us and some out of these clouds to the northwest. Setting things into motion, well, everything kind of exits as we go through the overnight hours. Quiet, light south winds to start our Tuesday morning. Temperatures in the morning will be in the 60s. A hit or miss sprinkle possible out in Lakes Country. Then by midday, we'll see temperatures soaring into those 80s down to the south. A lot of 70s north. In the afternoon, we'll notice kind of a variable wind direction. You saw Hutch's arrow flapping around there. It does look like temperatures will be pretty warm in southeast North Dakota. We're talking well into the 80s to near 90. A lot of 80s up north as well. Can't rule out some thunderstorms, but where are they? Well, nowhere to be found around 6 o'clock, but late. Watch what happens down by my kneecaps. Those are thunderstorms down there, and they'll be moving in from the south. So our th southernmost counties, once again, Roberts County through southern Otter Tail, a chance for some pretty strong storms tomorrow night. In Fargo, it looks quiet. 65 to start your morning. Temperatures rising into the mid and upper 80s. Wind variable and not as strong as today. So a hot summer-like day, a sliver of a chance in Fargo of storms, hardly any chance of storms up north along Highway 2. Temperatures 80 to 85 there. The sizzle factor will be in the forecast. Southeast North Dakota through the southern Red River Valley. Temperatures pretty fair for a nice summer day in parts of southern Lakes Country. Speaking of fair weather, look at this shot. With all of the smoke in the skies last week from the Canadian fires, we were all treated to some beautiful, bright red suns, both setting and rising. Rich Craig, thanks for uploading your Towner County photo. Here's a look at the seven-day planner. Another hot one, but very dry on Wednesday. 87 degrees, closing out the work week. We'll stay sizzling in the mid and upper 80s. Looks like 90s on tap for Saturday with some thunderstorms cooling us just a pinch. All of those very summer-like readings. Yeah, not a bad forecast, right? No, not at all. Thank Weather you. to enjoy. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to...